She was doing it pretty good. A, uh, a cat with tape on its paws would have better moves. Oh, man, that's a good, that is a good analogy. <laughs> Matt Hagen, the Dodge Power Broker. Trying to broker his way up from number nine. And Jim Campbell. Now, Jim Campbell is one of the cars that is not yet qualified. That Blaze Technical Instruments, KGC, Jim Dunn Machine for Team Lucas and DePinto Logistics has been making regular three-second runs. I mean, not 380s, but still. Dip that thing into the threes, and it's just about a lock that you're going to be racing Monday at Lucas Oil Indianapolis Raceway Park. Hagen has already been there. 393 is his best, but at only 309 miles an hour, and that is an absolute perfect indicator that there's more left under the body of that Do Dodge Power Brokers car. Matt Hagen's got the Fu Manchu mustache back, bringing his A game from earlier in the year. They went through a bit of a drought on the Western Swing, but have shown that they can turn it back on, and they have. Yeah, they moved back to the C game there for a while. Right. Yeah. Hagen goes 389. Campbell goes 398. Matt Hagen goes up to number four. The Dodge Power Brokers flexing a little muscle down there. And a 398, 316 miles an hour for Jim Campbell. I believe Jim Campbell, Jim Dunn are probably happier with that run than the Power Brokers are with theirs. Jason. Well, let's find out down here with Dickie Venables, the crew chief for Matt Hagen, and how happy are you with that run? I'm pleased with it. You know, we, uh, we didn't go down that last run and uh, we just needed something that would, that would go down the track. So uh, that's about what it should have run and that's always a good thing when it runs what you think. So hopefully get back and look at everything and just get ready for tomorrow. This is awkward. I feel like you're interviewing me right now. <laughs> yeah, this is a little strange. I do want to say thanks to Dickie Venables. He was to have been my co-host at Nitro School today and well, Mother Nature kind of took care of that. Watch that last pair one more time as they are dancing around there. Look at Campbell's car again. It's trying to pick up that left front tire. Now that cost him a run last night because the front end got so light it got over and doinked the blocks. But Matt Hagen, 333 miles an hour. That is top speed of the event here so far. And if you're wondering, the track speed record is also held by Matt Hagen at 338 miles per hour. 